Well, I've been set up about 10 minutes at the night gig at the farmer's market. It's uh, in the high 40s, which I don't particularly care for, under this building it's chilly. I got uh, my famous, uh, their famous BLT, which I'm getting ready to have for breakfast. And if you remember from last year, the lady who sold the gluten-free cupcakes Enchanted Delights, Enchanted Sweet Enchantments, she's moved over there. She'd opened up that little building and she'd been open about a week. I went over there a minute ago and she's got a lot of stuff in there right now. Cupcakes and stuff you want. I might go over there a minute and take some pictures of it. Just I don't think there's going to be much activity here. But that's what you never know. You know, you come out here and you sit around and drink some coffee and take it easy. We'll have to see how it goes today. See you later. So there was one thing I forgot to tell you. And I'm not sure I even told you earlier, but the Chris's daughter it was due to have a baby any day and she got the call this morning I think he's on his way or she's on her way her name's gonna be Ann she's uh I think she's gonna leave in the morning and drive up there and spend two weeks with her help her get straight from the hospital and, you know that's her third grandchild the first girl so she's excited to have a granddaughter well, I'll see how that goes. I'll keep you informed on that. Let you know the particulars if you're into that kind of stuff. Okay. Stand by for more. The saga continues. Rancho Max. Well, the knife gig was a bust. No knives. Cold. I'm putting my gear in my truck now. I'm going to... Uh, the cave. John went to the cave yesterday and did really good. Found some nice silver coins, three mercury, three or four mercury dimes, wheat pennies, old quarter, standing liberty half dollar. I'm headed that way at a rapid pace as soon as I get loaded up. I think Denny's already down there. Stand by. Most of the uh, park where we're going to put in that. I mean, I'm going to put in that where the other two guys are at. Hard to go to a place and found, try to find what was found yesterday, but that's what we're doing. I think that wind last week, we had that little breeze, that big breeze, probably unearthed, uncovered some of them old silver coins when they pulled up a couple of those uh, jetties, those creosote jetties, if you remember from last May. I just hope we can find them again. Or they have, or somebody has, something to find anyway. Like I said, I think I told you I sent some pictures of Giants and stuff he found yesterday. It'd be nice. Stand by. I'm full part this rice burner in a few minutes. Man, I got a lot of coupons flashing up here. The coupon man. I wonder what's going on. I'm in the middle of the road. One on one side, one on the other. Well, it looks like a rear end job. It is a rear end job. Go plug up. Denny's truck's here and John's truck's here. So I know they're here looting. I just have to... Oh, I see Denny right there. Because he's been here for at least two hours, I would guess, if I had to guess. We'll, we'll get a report here in a second. Stand by. I couldn't stand and thought you guys down here digging all these silver coins. I had to get out of here. And one silver medallion. Yeah. And that's it. I see Beaver. You see him? I see his truck. Who? Beaver. Yeah, yeah. I ran into him over. He was going that way. He he must have dug the coins. On the other, the other side of that side, pipe. Yeah. Yeah. On the other side. I went over there. I, I dug a silver quarter. I think it's a silver quarter. I've got I've got a few. Mostly up high. Everything up high, I ain't getting nothing down. Oh, junk. A lot of trash that way. Yes, yeah, sir, I'm sure it is. 
ain't very hot either. I tell you, I, I'm overdressed. I got two sweatshirts on. <laughs> well, I'm underdressed. <laughs> There's a, I, can, I think that's silver. Yeah, it is. to the west. Are you staying high? I'm gonna stay away west. They didn't pick up a knockout. What do you call it? A nitro. Maybe not though. Too far, you can see it. Yes. Yeah, you take, sometimes you'll find a silver ring with real diamonds in it. Yeah. Not all the time, but sometimes. It's probably 50 or 60, 70, maybe 80 pounds of gray matter right here. You can see the gray matter right there, see it? One right there, one right there. About every 18 inches or so, they put a gray matter for weight to keep it on the bottom. I'm gonna take that one home, came off easy. There's one, two, nice gray matter. If I had more time, I'd pluck these babies off here. But I'm in a hurry. How you back out today, Silver Man? Not so good today. <laughs> man, there's nothing. There's more sand on the beach now than there was yesterday. Yeah. I just dug down. I found a piece of angled iron I dug up yesterday, and I threw it up on the beach. It was two scoops deep. You found a silver ring coming down, yeah? Right. Yeah. Nice. That's it. And a quarter. I did find. I think this is a token. I mean, a train. Bobby found one the other day. Found quite many of those in some places down here. Cool. That's nice. That's yeah. old. Dude. Early 1900s. Nice. Well, my first coin is going to be a 64 nickel. Right there. I got 10 cent this time. I can't tell if it's silver or I mean, old or not. It's a rosy. I scratched it, it looks silver, but then it looks clad underneath there, so. I'm thinking it's clad time. Well, it's a rainy Saturday morning. Rain has stopped right now. And the wind has died down a little bit. They got that big ship off the beach yesterday morning. High tide, a big tug came in and pulled her off the beach, so she's gone. It's uh, just me and the critters. Chris uh, left about 15 minutes ago heading for New York to spend two weeks up there with her new grandbaby, granddaughter, Ann. So it's just me and uh, me and Mr. Jack and the three carnivores. Last night, Jack barked and barked and barked at one o'clock. We got up, we couldn't find anything. Two o'clock, barked and barked and barked. Nothing. Three o'clock, barked and barked and barked. So I came downstairs and I sat here on the bed with him, pulled the window shade up a ways, and waited. About ten minutes went by and a little teeny baby raccoon came up. Raccoon climbed up on the bird bath 
turned around and looked at Jack at the window and got up on the windowsill and they touched nose to nose against the window and I thought Jack was going to go ballistic. <laughs> then he got back on the bird feeder and reached across the one hand on the pole one hand on the bird feeder and pulled the bird feeder to him and had him a little feast. And he came back, got back on the windowsill, looked at Jack again and back to the bird feeder. I didn't know we had any raccoons, but we do. He was about the size of one of our cats. He wasn't a really big raccoon. I think he was a young one. But him and Jack, they didn't like each other too much. Well, I think he liked Jack, but Jack said, I gotta eat him. And the carnivore, he's waiting for the squirrel to show up. And we're having us a little breakfast. Yeah, aren't we, Jack? We got some muffins we get ready to stick in the oven. We got some sausages we cook it. And we got some meager eggs. We'll have us a little breakfast in a few minutes. I don't know if the weather's gonna get be fit to go out or not, but you can see the wind we had there, they blow the chairs over. If we haven't picked them back up yet, we figured they'd just blow back over. Stand by, we'll see what happens. We got an oyster roast to go to. We got a, uh, I don't know what you call it, but you remember, I think I took some pictures of it last year. It's called the uh, Annual Fireworks Oyster Roast. $40 tickets. Starts today at 4 to 8, weather permitting. Chris is gone, of course, so I'm taking low tide Tim. I'm giving Chris's ticket to Tim, and we're going to eat some oysters this afternoon. And clams and barbecue, and it's a big deal. You know, the money goes towards the uh, fireworks show in July. But maybe it'll be raining too bad. We'll have to see how that goes. Okay, I'll check with you in a little while. I like them. Eggs. No go yet. Done. Done. <laughs> you know you're going to get some sausages, don't you, Jack? Did you see a carnivore? You squirrel? I don't see him nowhere. He's nasty for him. He's in his nest. Staying warm right now. Like you are. Yeah. Big Jack is eating the remains out of eggs. Look at him. Mmm, he said. I like him. Dog food and cat food run. And litter. I forgot about the litter. My mission for the day. Before the oyster roast. If the oyster roast takes place. Stand by. I hate traveling on Saturdays sometimes. Traffic is bad. This is the third light cycle for this light already. I still haven't got through it yet. But I'm going to get through it this time. Well, Ty Tim's getting him some wine. I got me a beer. What we got over here? I don't know. <laughs> the Orson Man is trying to get a head start on everybody this year. Oh, yeah, I got a really good head start. <laughs> a thousand. You don't know my buddy until he gets here. You he might be behind. <laughs> Have we got Brunswick Sioux here this year? This we got year? roasted oysters right over there. I know what else. They're going to have clam stew or just oysters? I, I don't know about the rest. I know we got raw oysters and we got some ones on there. That's the first batch coming off. First batch of the day. First batch of many. <laughs> Just right, looks like to me.